All right, let us start by this component. This is the fuel pressure regulator and it operates off vacuum. This hose here is the control and it goes all the way in the back behind the uh, PDM. There's a couple, two of them here it, and one down here and there are like three vacuum switching valves or like a solenoid and controls the vacuum to in order to control the pressure as needed from the computer. Um, this component here is the EGR vacuum modulator and these two hoses goes from here all the way to the uh, throttle body and brings it back. Um, so this have a role as to um, control the uh, vacuum um, at a low idles uh, the engine produce really low vacuum and it's kind of work as when it's very low vacuum it stops it completely so it doesn't disrupt and malfunction uh, uh, the control of the EGR valve right here so this is basically I have the role to get the vacuum um, set right for the EGR valve and uh, for the EGR valve also uh, it has a vacuum switching valve so if you stick around till the end of the video I'm gonna go ahead and follow each one of them because you got two of them here and the third there and if I look at the uh, if I look at the the common uh, thing on found on the manuals uh, most of them they just refer refer them like three this is not gonna be wanting to folks but three of them vacuum switches they're like organized but uh, in mine this is a 95 it doesn't show them uh, all as uh, you can see there's one there where the green collar is and there's two on the back so all right so definitely the EGR have um, a hose coming from the modulator and a hose coming from the vacuum uh, switch to open and close uh, so we're, what the third uh, vacuum um, um, switching valve is for is for the uh, AS read valve or as mentioned here it's the same thing the pair valve and that actually They're actually in the bottom. I try to try to find a way to show it, to point at it. Okay. Let's see if we can see it. It's a little bit tight in here. So in the bottom, you can see there's there's a valve, and it's right here. This one here. I'm hitting it now. There's a vacuum and there's like a white collar on it because I uh, disconnected everything not too long ago and had to just mark it. So that uh, that valve, what it, does it do? It actually work as pulses of air goes back into the uh, exhaust manifold and it serves as a uh, emission uh, device to actually introduce a little bit more oxygen in the exhaust in order to burn the leftover uh, and burned uh, um, gas gas particles um, so to make it as a cleaner more of a complete combustion as for the EGR valve is very known as just a it opens up and actually cools down the temperature um, it's chemistry related thing when the temperature it's so high uh, there is a there is a production of a bigger amount of NOx um, it's NO and NO2 and then they are harmful gases all right so for uh, this major component is a vacuum reservoir that's here there's one hose going to it here right um, that is the same one okay that definitely the same one that goes comes this way and it splits in a T and this one here is a supply 
that supply that supply it, that you see in here as the same goes underneath it's the same one here so where the thing go to this goes straight straight to here the to the top of the uh, upper plenum or upper intake um, that thing is the one that uh, provide the vacuum to the uh, reservoir and it, before it does uh, the split actually it does supply um, after actually it splits here one goes to the vacuum reservoir and one and this side actually goes straight to the uh, two uh, vacuum switching valves or you can call them the solenoids um, as uh, and as I uh, promised I <laughs> trying to trace those uh, it seems like the AS read uh, valve um, one is so simple it actually was a separate vacuum switching valve that's located here this one I'm already touching with my light this one here I followed I hope you guys can see very well you did you try different different trying to different angle here um, uh, don't get the miss confused with anything else but the valve that's in here it actually the one that supplies the uh, AS reed valve in the bottom down there and these two here so you got these two here left is fuel pressure regulator on the left and uh, EGR uh, valve on the right so if you are not sure or you're diagnosing so I would recommend just disconnecting the output which is this the one in the bottom and and hook um, and hook both of them the one that goes to the EGR for the control and the one that goes to the fuel pressure on top and apply a little bit of air don't put a lot of pressure um, I would say even if you blow it through it with uh, some smoke, uh, it actually it will it will follow a path and go and open up uh, as long as you did it in the uh, output of the uh, vacuum switching valve. There is actually vacuum an additional vacuum switching valve here next to the one we talked about for the AS read valve. And there's actually another fourth one here, and it's actually optional if you have air condition. Back then, there was optional air conditioner or not, but I would assume 90% of the vehicles uh, have not, uh, air conditioning. So, this role is to take the vacuum here, take it underneath the plenum, and control high idle through the vacuum uh, switching valve. And if you really want to understand how it works and go all the way underneath the, the plenum, plenum um, might just take a look at uh, some of the forms to talk about it and also and the uh, some of the diagrams. Will actually show you exactly but if you ever running into a problem with uh, idle not coming up with the air condition so you have the um, so you have the uh, uh, the vacuum here to check actually this hose takes comes from here and it splits in the T here one goes all the way to the fuel pressure vacuum switching valve fuel pressure regulator and then it's actually this one and then this one turn around it comes to here to the vacuum uh, switching valve and then the outlet goes and control the valve itself and this is the valve itself is right here so there is there and uh, for the one of the biggest hoses it's the ghost to uh, the vacuum hose is the booster this one is the very one on top right underneath of it there's two hoses they are including uh, this uh, high uh, idle valve um, yeah this is like most most of uh, the vacuum uh, system components we try to mention as much as we can uh, hopefully that really gives an idea and also uh, put a comment and uh, um, uh, criticism and uh, if any question uh, go ahead ask uh, and we'll talk about other component here and here uh, in another video I uh, hope you guys enjoy this kind of video uh, I, I know 
I share some videos of repair and there's no talking uh, there's only music on the background so it's good to uh, go through the engine and talk about the different uh, components it's uh, really handy uh, when it comes to diagnostics